G'day. Welcome to the Anglers. My name's Mad Dan. Today I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day special. Got the sound of Australian birds in the background. Perfect. First one here, Guinness. Extra stout. A little bit different to the original uh, Guinness draft. Couldn't get the original draft, so I got this one. And another good Irish one, Kilkenny. Irish Ale. So I'll try out these two, see what they're like. Put this one away, I'll do this one here first. So, the uh, Guinness Extra Stout. 375ml bottle. It's 6% alcohol. Let's give it a go. Now, yeah, I've got a uh, got a Guinness glass. Yeah, just got a top here. Let's see if we can give it the pop. Not a bad sound. All right. Oh, it smells nice. Looks good too. Let that sit just for a sec. So, Guinness uh, Extra Stout. I did do a little bit of um, research on this one. Probably one of the first times I've ever done some research on uh, some beers. And it reckons when they were doing those long shipping voyages, they had to up the alcohol. So I guess that's why this one's about 6%. Um, and uh, so that it would last on the ship, I suppose. All right, well, I'll give it, give it a test. Oh, it smells, it smells a bit like chocolate. Very sweet, very sweet. Mmm. All right, give this one a go. Oh, it's got a got a dirty gas. Got a quite a uh, quite a burnt aftertaste. Yeah, it just keeps on getting getting more and more like a, like you're eating on a um, like you're chewing on a on a, a piece of wood that's been in the fire. The only way to get rid of that taste is to have some more. What? Quite a meaty beer. Oh, there's that gas. Yeah. Good uh, beer to have in winter in front of a fire. Just takes that chill out of the air. Jeez, uh, me mate Dry Jam's gonna kill me. I'm drinking with me right hand. That's what we call a wombat. <sighs> Alright. Mm. Yeah. Really gassy, gassy beer. Uh, like you just... You know, you, you, you drink it and it tastes like chocolate and caramel and... You know, you got that, that toffee sort of flavour, but gee, man, afterwards, it's like licking a fireplace. I don't know. Either need another one after it, or just don't have the one at, to start with. Um, I'll have to score this one. Probably a four out of eight. All right. The Kilkenny. Give this one a go. 
I've had this one before and I I know I like it. Um, Kilkenny, it's a 440ml glass, 440ml can, 4.3% uh, alcohol. I've got a Kilkenny glass, somewhere here, here it is. Just a like classic looking can too, you know, you go into the shops, you, you know what you're going to get. White and the bloody red, brown, well, I don't know. Sounds good. Oh, that, that Guinness Extra Stouts. I don't know. Now, the colour of this one looks a bit like a honey. Like a sort of a dark honey. It's looking really nice, actually. Just got to wait for that to settle a bit more. I am um, saying I was doing some research on the, on the Guinness before. I did some research on the Kilkenny as well, and... Um, it used to be called Smithwick's, which apparently is a bit hard to say, if you say it too clear. Smithwick's. Smithwick's. I don't know if it's hard to say, but Kilkenny's heaps easier to say. Uh, that's about it. Don't really have much more to say about uh, the old Kilkenny. I just need to taste it now. Looks like she's ready to go. Cheers. That is as smooth as Jeff Goldblum's Jazz Club. Oh, that's good. Mm. It cleans the cleans the taste of that. Actually, this is this is a good drink to have after having the Guinness Extra Stout. When you feel like you've been chewing on burnt wood, have some Kilkenny afterwards, and I reckon you'll be bloody happy about it. One back. That's nice. That's nice. Mm. I think I like this one heaps better. Heaps better than the Guinness uh, Extra Stout. This one's um, this one's a pretty high score. Seven out of nine. Thanks for watching.